Alright guys, here we are for another trailer reaction. Today we're reacting to the trailer for the movie Alita Battle Angel. This is some anime shit. Um, I don't think I've seen the original anime, but I heard a rumor that someone was adapting something for like the big screen or like a real release or something like that. I don't have any details. But, well, like uh, this, this is definitely some high quality CG. It looks like the uh, the best version of like that that Resident Evil shit that came out back in the day. We're uh, like, like oh, like because that looks almost person like. Like if you were like, nah, this is a poorly photoshopped picture of a lady. I'd be like, yeah, it might be. I think that there's real actors and they're in the, and they're like doing capture um, okay. on them. But it's also and like games. But have this is to leagues above. Too. Like yeah. if you think of Grendel, like just a couple like <laughs> just like was that Grendel seven was, years ago? Yeah, it was like Grendel was forever ago. And it was awful. But uh, that was like you know real celebrities motion capture oh, yeah, and yeah. stuff. No, and and that's the money, right? Ever since the uh, the CG Keanu Reeves danced his way through, through through half of those fight scenes in the second Matrix, sure. we've been like, soon we won't even need actors. Um, it's true. But you're seeing, so like, I have no idea if this is like a still or just like a like a fake thing or whatever. But we're seeing like hair and sweat and like moisture and yeah. all these fucking things that are usually the like, like tells. proper mascara, eyeballs that actually have like yeah. like depth, lighting and stuff like that. All these things that are the like tells that like. Uh, um, something's not real, and like your brain's like, mm, not a person. Something bothering me about this. But uh, so I have no idea what this is, uh, except that people that like old anime, like Akira and mm -hmm. Ghost in the Shell and stuff, were like, oh, cool. This is we might do a thing with this. So uh, let's, let's just check it out. Let's find out. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So that looks uh, like the CG looks like really, really good. Um, it, yeah, it's not a, it's yeah. not a complete CG movie. It has uh, real actors in it. Um, she's CG. Uh, it seems like there are over the top moments as only an anime could do uh, with like yeah. ah tentacles and switchblades and whatever. But uh, no, there's something really really interesting about it. Where like it, it, the animation like is I very have, good. I have concerns, but they are mostly based around your reaction. So. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, like, uh, I don't so, know that I necessarily want to yeah. see this, but there are certain moves so, that look very fluid and great. Like when she like just smashes dude into the fucking table, okay. I'm like, get it, girl. Like, do what All you right. got to do. So a few things, right? So like when we talk about superhero stuff, right, you've sure. made a lot of comments about like uh, how, you know, how they do the costumes, right? Sure. And like, uh, yeah, Thor looks really good. That's cool. But this guy, yeah, you couldn't really do his costume. But so, that, so like they made it like better, though, or like they uh -huh. adapted it. With anime stuff, with that, as I call it, anime bullshit, there's some stuff that doesn't necessarily translate um, that I've ever seen done or whatever the fuck, right? Uh -huh. So like um, the closest thing ever has has been Pacific Rim <laughs> to like translating okay. anime shit into like live action ECG type shit or whatever. And this kind of walks the line where I think, like you said, like, like a lot of it I thought was good, but there were certain moments where I was like, uh oh, or something like that. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna work out or something like that. Yeah, like some of the scenes. Didn't I have work. issues with things like with like weird metal tentacles flying out of things. Yeah. Mostly because I'm like, well, where is it coming from? <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> what is stabilizing it? Like when you when you have Listen, people that are if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be okay with Inspector Gadget, you have to be okay with. Uh, I didn't go on record saying I was okay <laughs> with Inspector Gadget. Are you saying you're anti Inspector Gadget? Uh, Ridiculous. Go, go Inspector. Uh, Ridiculous. Now just like like she looks very cool when she's just a human, and then when she went to like battle mode, I was like, what am I looking at here? Uh, you look like you should I be think a that's, bug transformer. I think that's the bad guy, or like one of the bad things. Oh, that, that's not her? When I think that there's a bunch of bad robots that have uh, that are like bigger or have spikes or the have The one tentacles. girl looked like her face, just with like like more like, 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 like this right here, like spiky clawed nature. I don't think that's her. Okay, if that's some, not her, then I, I have less problems. I had that thought, and then I was like, oh, wait, that's probably not her. Because it looked like that was still, uh, what's his name, Mr. German McAccent. Yeah, but this is she's much taller than him now. I don't know. I hope that's not her. That's, that's battle cool. mode. Your legs get bigger. You go go gadgeting and whatnot. Uh, but now all the battle so, mode robots, whether they are her or not, all yeah, they strike look, me as like that's too much. Except for like the mohawked one. Like, I was when say, he's just except like, you know, for a strong you know, guy. punk rock mixed strong man. Uh, no, I think they made her eyes bigger, which is an anime that's, thing. But that's and, what's, uh, what's great. Is, is we're that like, cool? Are we down with that? The reason it's cool is because she's not human. They're not trying to make a human. She's right. a robot, and robots would have exaggerated features and stuff. Uh, if if you wanted them to, sure. Well, I think you would you would need a tell, and like like you wouldn't want to mistake things. Like you'd want at first glance to know what, like that's yeah. a person, that's not a person, and like big eyes are a thing that'd be like, okay, you're not real. I think that I like anime uh, or like liked it as a kid and then ended up watching more of it because I'm into the eyes. Like I think uh, like people have been like, oh, I don't like the way anime looks. I'm like, that, you know, that looks realer than real life to me. <laughs> that, that, that looks more whatever the fuck. Gigantic so eyes? She's freaking me out. 
because uh, that's the part of, uh, of the face that I guess I look at more anyway or something like that. Eyes and mouth or something. Uh, the big eyes of know. anime throw me off, not because they're big, weird, round, huge eyes, but because I think it's so strange that a whole culture of people draws the same way. Yeah. I just think that's so weird. It's weird. How does that start? And, like, you know, <coughs> not to, to get into weirdness, but, like, of, of all the cultures in the world, they have, like, the smallest natural eyes. Why, why make huge eyes? Like, you know what I yeah, mean? Just like, how did not, that start? There's some sort of history behind it. There I'm, has to I'm be. Not and, sure and, and that's exactly fascinating. The thing, yeah. But it's become, you know, it's definitely like a trope and like a style of its own at this point where uh, they don't all have that, but the ones that do have this is like, here's your standard anime face. But isn't it, like, it's um, weird because it's not just like just Japan. Like, if you look at any of the, of, of like the Asian areas of drawing uh, styles, that they, I don't they know all about. seem to have the same type of characteristics. But if you look at just like America, and granted, we're like a melting pot, so it's hard to say what our style would be. Yeah. And, and our style is random bad drawing. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's the most hilarious thing I've ever said in in your life. But like, like, um, think about like, no, all like American uh, animated shows. I they all have a dramatically you, different style, and it's uh, all it's all like, <laughs> like underdeveloped. Yeah, I feel like when you watch a show, though, you can be like, oh, this is that uh, Adventure Time style, or and like and like a bunch of shows have copied that now. Yes, or you can be have, like have copied um, things. Yeah, or you could be like, this is that. Or have the uh, same people from that show working on this show now, and it's slowly yeah, adapting yeah, yeah. the thing. Things but yeah, like there, but if you look at a thing. like Nickelodeon, um, like yeah. Disney cartoons, well, okay, everything okay. has such a dramatically different. But there style. was like a Hanna Barbera style. There's like a yeah. Disney style, and those styles, uh, you know, have propagated. Like there's companies who who like weren't uh, Disney who had cartoon characters that have like white gloves on for no reason and have all the same white gloves like, with four uh, fingers because yeah. five fingers <laughs> is hard to draw. Right, all the same shit that like because someone establishes something and 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 that becomes like uh, what people expect to see or something like that. Yeah. And they go like, yep, that's what a cartoon fox would look like. And then do the things or something and like that. I just find it so strange that like all of Asia found the same like, like you know, pulse. I don't believe that they did. I believe that that's just what we we're like exposed to or something like that. Or that's like the typical anime well, I, uh, trope I, thing like, or something like that. Like if you went into like a random like Comic Con or whatever, there's like yeah. a table of Asian stuff. And I'm sure some of that is like the low budget whatever. This is my geek in you whatever. Like you don't know about this. I know about this stuff. And to me, everything looks exactly the same. Yeah, and yeah. that's not me like going like, hey, it all looks the same. <laughs> but like... It has a very similar style. Like, yeah, no, I think like uh, Marvel has a style, or like comic books. Like if, if you just saw like a random picture of Storm, you could tell whether or not that was part of a comic book, or whether some fan drew some weird different style picture. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, there's like a, a a comic book style. It's like a generalized thing or whatever. Now less so, but but yes. Well, and because we know about it more, we you know we're able to like pick out the nuances of all the different uh, artists and people and the Rob Liefeld group and the whatever name. Uh, I can't think of the guy's name. He's very iconic. Jack Kirby? Jack Kirby. Thank you. Weird. Gotcha. Anyway, um, the effects look really good when she has her hands and shit like that. No, uh, yeah. It, Ex Machina was... Almost, like, well, stunningly well. Ex Machina was a, was a robot lady with a fucking... Uh, um, like you know, very female face area and stuff like that, and then like like robotic limbs and like sides and stuff, mm -hmm. and that and that looked really cool. And this looks even better. Well, it so makes I'm sense like, if you're going to be making a robot to put all the effort into the face, yeah, because yeah, everything yeah. else could be covered. And like, like and why, why, you know, why would you want to spend money on that? A company wouldn't. Yeah, and this is a typical anime or just like like typical whatever trope of like she's sort of normal. Where she just looks like a person, but she has to fight like jacked up, crazy tentacle yeah. man and like praying mantis lady and all that stuff. Well, and there, that trope so of, of like, like of uh, like you are a special, unique kind yeah. that is very valuable. You have that heart. I found in a dumpster. Like, <laughs> how yeah. often have we seen that exact yeah. trope? It's sort of like a chosen one thing, but it's also like you have to make do with these like basic like like you know you're you know you're just Link and you just found a sword, but Ganon and his monsters are yeah. these big crazy things, and you're like, oh fuck, what do I do? So, uh, I don't know. I would definitely watch this. I think you're more in the camp of, I don't know if I'd watch this. I think I would That's catch this one. I don't think I'd yeah. see it theatrically. Yeah, no, no. Um, but I, I, I'm interested enough. I, I like the idea. I'm impressed. And I, and I hope this heralds in a new thing of live-action crazy bullshit. I can't get over that. That quick snap. 
question like when she like tables that yeah. guy i'm like oh no she has some some prowess i i, I think her fighting style will be interesting because she's just like quick it seems yeah and sometimes they uh so like anime often too like it's way too much but it, but in like a, in, in a good way sometimes it's like the explanations of stuff like that mm -hmm. there's an anime called blue seed once where like i forget the numbers but like the good guy had like seven of these gems or whatever and then like a bad guy showed up that had eight or whatever the fuck and it was literally like oh you're only seven eighths of his power level and you have to somehow beat him and it was this crazy bullshit like that but i like weird stuff like that so as as robots right there'd be something like uh -huh. she has some crazy fusion core that that lets her you know do weird stuff or something like oh you could do all these interesting and she's also like crying and offer and like in falls yeah. in love with a human it seems That's so like person. it's interesting yeah, it's and, be interesting. and she has the power of a human heart that'll love and make life worth fighting for or something <laughs> And it also holds two ounces of liquid <laughs> so she can cry. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, so thumbs up? Oh, yeah, I give this trailer a thumbs up. Good shit. All right, guys, let us know in the comments below what you think about this trailer. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time.